There are certain unwritten rules that we as car guys just know. Certain rules that we all try to follow. And today, I'm going to be talking about some of them. I want to discuss the type of enthusiasts in the community that we all respect. This video isn't meant to bring anyone down in any way. Not sure how you'd assume such things, but I just thought I'd clear the air. And plus, I just got a new mic, so y'all let me know how it sounds. It was an expensive boy, so it better sound good. Anyways, the first type of people that we all respect are the ones who don't treat public roads like racetracks. Okay, this one, I'm not saying go buy a sports car and drive it like a toyota prius but i think everyone with common sense should understand that there's a time and place for everything and surprise surprise senseless driving as well if you want to do dumb stuff don't put anyone else in danger when a street race be the only one at risk want to test the top speed on your ultima do it at nighttime when there's literally no traffic on the road all i'm saying is take your shenanigans to a back road a track or an empty parking lot and this goes for takeover people as well so don't get me started on those people if you participate or even go to any of these we don't respect you hey i'm personally not in any position to say you're not a car guy but you're making us look bad and this is the problem the people who drive recklessly like cutting up senseless speeding and takeovers the non-car people like the regular people who don't care about cars classify you guys with us people who just love cars for what they are the ones who are chill and don't put others at risk for adrenaline so the main headline will be car enthusiasts or reckless they don't care about anyone but themselves but that's for real not it a group of bad people doesn't make the whole community bad so if you want to be respected by car guys and non car car guys don't treat public roads like it's a racetrack next we have the cool fans who doesn't make their favorite cars their whole personality okay you guys are probably thinking of me by now but let me explain yes i glazed the corvette c7 but i actually give cars credit when it's due if you go watch any of my videos when i talk about german italian even japanese cars i say when a car is nice and when a car is bad i don't sugarcoat it that's the difference yeah i have a favorite car the c7 yes it's my favorite car but i don't hate any other car or try to compare it senselessly see for this one i don't even know where to start i made a whole video on annoying fan bases so if you want to check that out after but there's so many ways not to be annoying as a car fan so let's go over a couple this is social orbit's guide to be a respectable fan number one don't be that guy who has to make everything a comparison koenigsegg fans i'm staring dead at you i understand that yeah bugatti and koenigsegg are technically rivals but that doesn't mean everything and i mean everything has to be compared number two don't be that guy who thinks your brand is better than every other brand at everything else this is the shot towards the bmw and the super fans Yes, cool cars 100%, but there are some things that they do well and some other things that they absolutely suck at. To not be an annoying fan, you just have to appreciate cars as a whole. Understand how they work, subscribe to Social Orbit on YouTube, and just things of that nature. Don't be annoying and people will respect you. That's just facts. Okay, this next one is a little controversial not really but the people who put time and effort into their build i'm not saying buying a build is wrong but everybody respects someone who clearly put a lot of effort into their own car i'm gonna say it again because a lot of you guys don't have ears but buying a car that's already built there's nothing wrong with that me personally i'll never do it buying someone else's build is just like I can't think of an analogy, but you get the point. You build your car, people are going to respect you. To be honest, it doesn't have to be the best looking, fastest, or the best sounding car out there. You just appreciate it a lot more knowing that you did that, like you built that car. I can't wait to get my car because that's one thing I 100% look forward to doing in the future. Building it. I feel like there is no reason to dislike someone who built something for themselves. Except if they're just douchebags about it, then yeah, you deserve to be disliked. But someone who just has a project car, works on it, enjoys it, I mean, what's there not to respect? I do want to ask you guys though if you could have any project car to work on make it realistic please i don't want to see hyper cars in the comment section but if you could have any project car to work on and build what would it be and what would you build it for you guys already know my answer if you don't you're not subscribed so subscribe aside from the guys who build their cars the people who also know their stuff are highly respected obviously there's nothing wrong with learning and still not knowing a lot in the community but i don't think there's any group worse than the people who act like they know stuff that they actually don't well except takeover kids i wasn't literal <laughs> exhibit a the people who think horsepower is everything let's say mopar owners for example they could pull up in a scat pack at a traffic light i think scat packs have around 485 horsepower don't quote me on that but i think it's about 485 horsepower they'll pull up to a light next to a let's say an m340i for example the m340i has like 380 390 somewhere in between that but the mopar owner would think just because they have more power they will dust the m340i at the traffic light completely disregarding the fact that the bmw weighs 600 pounds less and could be x drive guys power isn't everything and that's just the tip of the iceberg for the people who claim they know it all the same people who 
think more cylinders equal faster? Yes, I've actually heard somebody say that before. Like, nah, it's not bad to be clueless at all. But the problem is when you start being ignorant, you know, like start spreading misinformation, acting like you know stuff. Yes, it's not bad to be clueless. It's bad to be ignorant. We respect the people who know their stuff and the people who don't just yap about things they're not even sure of. I'm probably guilty of this, but I swear I'm working on it. This one is kind of a weird thing to say on camera because I'm not saying don't have opinions. There's a difference between having controversial opinions and just having silly opinions. But at the end of the day, it's still your opinion. Saying an Aventador is faster than a GT2 RS just because it has double the cylinders is silly. It's not quicker in the quarter mile or on the track. See, this is basic knowledge stuff, but you guys underestimate how many clueless people just yap in the community. Learn your stuff and then talk or be like me. Make content and just learn as you go. Speaking of content, the next type of people who are most respected in the community are the ones who have liked this video and are subscribed to Social Orbit on YouTube. Be here before 100K. We're getting there fast. And, and before I forget to mention, I did make a Discord for the community because I'm going to start streaming very, very soon. So to be a part of the stream and just get closer to the community, join the Discord. I'm probably going to pin it or put it in the description or both. Don't forget. Moving on, we have the people who respect all builds, but to a certain extent. I'm sure you guys understand what I mean. Respect all builds is a very, very vague and broad statement. You respect the build that people put time and effort to, even though it's personally not your style. When I say to a certain extent though, I personally can't respect certain builds. Exhibit A, we have squatted trucks. I couldn't respect a squatted truck even if I tried. Not even if you paid me. This is just one of the few mods or builds that shouldn't be respected. It serves no purpose and it's literally a safety hazard. Other than that, I just feel like people are way too harsh when it comes to other people's builds. I'm not saying any names, but... Yeah, respect all bills, but to a certain extent. I don't even know if I explained it well. I just feel like I yapped on this topic, but this is a confusing subject to explain, to be completely honest. Let's just move on before I end up contradicting myself in some way. Remember when I brought up the annoying fans and the guys who try to make everything a competition when it's not? Yeah, I kind of want to expand on that because it's not even about the cars that they compare. If you want to be respected, don't try to bring other people down for liking a certain brand simply because you think your brand is better. This video actually got me feeling like MLK because I've been preaching this whole time. I have a dream that one day the whole car community will be one let me stop let me stop but you know how tesla guys always bring up the plaid zero to 60 and how it's a family sedan that could gap supercars this comparison really makes zero sense to me just the other day i was yapping about how i'd love a z06 because it's one of the best cars you can get for its price you know a typical social orbit video but then there was this one comment who was like i forgot exactly what he said but he was like something like a four-door family sedan would gap a z06 and then he was referring to the Plaid, obviously. Like, yes, it's a sedan, but they never seem to mention the part that it's a sedan with 1020 horsepower. And you're comparing a car with 1020 horsepower to one that has almost half of that. My point is people who compare are half the time ignorant. They never seem to ask themselves why this car performs in the other one. And they just talk. As much as you guys want to compare Koenigsegg and Bugatti, they're both great cars in their own way. One isn't better than the other as a car brand. Yes, Koenigsegg might be better in certain aspects, but Bugatti is also better in certain aspects as well. You see what I mean? There's nothing wrong with like liking both car brands, I promise you. Y'all treat it like it's blood and crip, like, oh, you gotta pick a side. Like, no, bro, it doesn't matter. Me, personally, I got hyped when the new Bugatti got revealed. And when Koenigsegg broke that record, guess what? I also got hyped. I wasn't in Bugatti's comment section spamming, oh, you gotta get back, the bald man is up. Like, nah, the people who don't compare to that extent, we all appreciate them. If you're one of those guys who do, don't worry, there's hope. Just do better, and like the video as well. When people mature, they start to realize that taste is an acquired thing. Like, beauty is subjective. Of course, some are objective but for the most part it is a subjective topic you won't like everything you see and not everything you do will be liked by everybody and that's totally fine apparently there's a whole group of people out there who like straight pipe 350z's yeah i know that's crazy but i don't judge i personally think it's the worst sound on the planet but i feel like maturity is understanding that i won't always like what the next guy likes i think the mclaren 720s is one of the most beautiful cars on the planet the next guy might think a nissan juke is the most beautiful car on the planet my point is that we're all different and we all like different things if you as a person realize that sooner or later you'd be more respected and this goes vice versa as well when you realize that people don't like the same thing and you find out that you have a car build that people don't like why should you care honestly if i was to get my car and start Start building it and somehow ended up in a drew peacock video i wouldn't mind because why it's not his car it's mine and if i'm happy with it 
Who cares? You know the type of people I have the most respect for in the community? We have those guys who treat other people's cars with respect. Like it's their own car. This really brings a smile to my face. Because I think it was my last video where I talked about the people who go to car meets and just start touching, sitting on, and feeling people's cars. And I tell you, there's nothing that makes me cringe as much as that. I mean, it really can't be that hard to respect other people's cars, right? This one should be common sense. I'm pretty sure we all wouldn't like if people mess with our stuff that we worked extremely hard for. So please keep your hands to yourselves and be respectful. If you haven't noticed by now, the best way to be respected by other people and just the community is to be respectful yourself as a person. When you're respectful, people will respect you back. So keep that in the back of your mind the next time you go to a car meet. Before I end it, I want to talk about the people who drive like idiots with passengers. This is one I will personally never do and I would never understand. Just like the first one on this list that I mentioned, if you ever want to drive dumb, just don't do it when other people are at risk, you know? At least don't do things that you know are out of your capabilities. We as car guys, it's something we have in the back of our brain, making us feel like we have to go beyond our abilities to impress others. This is why you see people spinning out trying to slide their cars out of a car meet and stuff like that. We just don't want to be that lame guy and this typically never goes right. This is the same as when people just start speeding, trying to cut up and just overall do reckless stuff trying to impress other people. You guys be safe out there and don't let your ego and pride get you in trouble. That's pretty much it. Like I said earlier, it's easy. If you want to be respected, be respectful. Put others in consideration and don't drive like an idiot. Join the Discord again because I'll be going live very, very soon. All I needed was this mic and now that I got it, the live streams are about to be hitting. You guys go watch this video because I feel like I elaborated more on what I said in this particular episode, but I just expand on it more over there. Take it easy, everyone, and until next time.